Hey, what's up everybody? This is Dom and today we are checking out the Spark Digital with Lightning Connector from Blue Microphones. This is a studio cardioid condenser microphone and it will work with your iPhone 5, 5S, your iPad mini, your iPad Air, anything with a lightning connector and also your computer. So we are going to get into the box here and I will show you guys what this microphone is all about. Now by no means is this a new microphone, but Blue was kind enough to send it out to me and I was very curious to check it out myself. Myself. So we are going to get into the box. I'll show you what's in here and we will do audio tests in this video So stay tuned for that now as you can see here We do have this nice little pouch nice little comfy pouch to store the microphone in and inside of that We do have some cables here as well Which we will take a look at here in a minute now pulling off the top here of this cardboard piece We have a stand inside of here and we also do have the microphone itself now This thing feels very high quality. This does not feel like some little dinky USB microphone. This feels like a professional studio microphone and I've used quite a few in my years so I can definitely speak from experience in this area. So I was very impressed by the build quality here. It also does have some nice weight to it. It doesn't feel light or anything. This just feels solid overall. Now we do have this knob down here which can be used to adjust your headphone volume and the microphone gain as well as mute the headphones or mute the microphone by pushing that knob in and I'll show you that here later on in the video. But Overall, I'm pretty impressed so far by this microphone. Now, moving around to the back side, we do have a switch here that says focus on and off. And if you toggle the switch to on, you'll get even greater clarity and detail in your recording of either your instruments, your voice, things like that. So it might be beneficial to have that switch on all the time, but we will check that out here later. Now at the top here, we have the nice head of the microphone and we have these nice chamfered edges here uh, along with a nice metal grill. There is nothing plastic on this microphone, by the way. It feels very, very high quality. And I, again, I'm really impressed by this. I really can't say enough great things about the build quality and the heft that comes along with this microphone. Now on the bottom here, you do see that we have a little port and that is so that we can plug in the included cables. One of them is a USB cable for your computer and the other one here is a lightning cable. So we can plug one end into the bottom of the Blue Spark Digital and then the other end goes into our iPad or our iPhone, basically any lightning enabled device. And down here, we have another plug that we can plug in headphones for real time monitoring. So you can hear what you're doing when you're doing it right through your headphones. And then finally, we do have this stand right here, which is also built pretty well. It has a built-in shock mount right in the center there, and it'll do a good job at holding up the microphone on your desk and keeping it nice and steady. So moving along here, as you can see, the knob at the bottom is currently lit up blue, and that is in headphone mode. So if we press that, we can actually mute the headphones, and then we can press it again to unmute it. Now by turning the knob left or right, we can adjust the volume of of the headphones. So this is good if you want to turn up anything that you're listening to or turn up your monitoring. You can do that by turning that knob. If we hold down the button for about three seconds, the lights will turn orange here and this allows us to adjust the microphone gain. So you can twist the knob left or right to adjust the gain or the input level of whatever you are recording. That will increase the microphone gain and you can adjust it accordingly depending on what you are recording. And then you can also press the button to mute the microphone so no sound will be in put it into whatever you're using to record, whether that be your iPhone, your iPad, or your computer. So pretty simple functionality here out of this one little knob slash button, and I really do like the ease of use here. With the stand that's included, we can twist these knobs right here, and that will allow us to adjust the positioning of the Blue Spark Digital. So we can tilt it forwards or backwards, depending on how you're going to use it, depending on what you are recording, and then you can tighten the knobs there to kind of get everything locked into place. Now when you have the cabling set up, as you can see here, we have kind of a Y cable down here at the bottom. And that is because one end is actually plugged into your computer or your iOS device, and the other end is right here in form of a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. And like I said, this will allow you to monitor your audio in real time. So you're gonna plug your headphones into that end. And like I said, plug it into an iPad or an iPhone 5 or 5S or anything with a lightning connector, or you can even plug it into your computer and be able to record audio just like this. It's really that simple. You get professional audio right with this microphone. Now, the only thing I would say that is bad about this microphone is I would definitely recommend to get a pop filter because this thing 
definitely needs one if you're going to be recording up close to it or anything like that with your voice. Now I did promise you an audio test of the Blue Spark Digital in this video, but I do have a confession to make. I've actually been recording this entire voiceover with this microphone. There are absolutely no effects applied. This is the raw audio from the Blue Spark Digital with focus mode off, and I'm also using a pop filter. So let me go ahead and turn on the focus mode so you can hear how that sounds. So now I've turned on the focus mode on the Blue Spark Digital, so this can give you a better idea on how that mode sounds with my voice. Go ahead and stick on some headphones if you want a closer comparison, but overall, I am a big fan of how this microphone performs. For what you're paying, I think you're getting a pretty good deal with this microphone. It's available for about $200, and I'll be sure to link it down below in the description for you, and I would go ahead and suggest to pick up a pop filter as well, because this microphone is definitely sensitive to that, but overall, I do recommend this mic. It is great. So let me know what you think about it down in the comments section below and be sure to leave this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Also, feel free to subscribe if you're not already for more content like this in the future. Thanks again for watching everybody. This is Dom and have a great day. Wow.